Guys, I'm bringing this video about Nicki Minaj, and this is proof. You guys always want to put all your trust and love and care into these celebrities. They will look you right in your eyes and be lying through their teeth. Now, allegedly, well, Nicki Minaj fans took to Instagram. She posted a video, and I'm still going to try to find that video, where she seemed like she was high and coked out of her mind. Nicki Minaj comes back today and pulls up a video live stating that she does not sniff cocaine. She does not. She's never tried that. The only drug of cocaine that she's ever seen in her life is by bricks. However, Nicki continues to sniffle when she's talking about the situation and she claims that she's a sniffling woman. Okay. Now, Nicki Minaj also stated, guys, that she does not sniff cocaine once again she actually likes to sniff bleach and rubbing alcohol and she uses this excuse to say when she was pregnant your baby is more than a couple of months old and those cravings that you claim that you had should have been gone by now Nikki you are not with child inside of your belly anymore and you want to say oh I like to sniff bleach and rubbing alcohol that's even worse Okay, so you guys can come up with your own conclusions to what you think about this. And if you're sniffling, you're also going to something that's going to be going on with the throat. You're going to have some coughing if you're congested. She doesn't sound congested at all. She sounds like she needs a little bit more blurred lines, if you get what I'm saying. However, guys, like the video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit the notification bell. When I drop new content, you guys will be aware. Please leave your comments down in the comment section and your opinions because they are very important and they matter. What do you guys think about this Nicki Minaj going live? Do you guys think that she sniffed coke? Or do you think this is just her cravings from her um, pregnancy, which she's not even pregnant anymore, wanting to sniff rubbing alcohol and bleach? She also said that she'll take a lie detector test, she'll get her real hair tested, and all of this crap. Who goes to that length? If this is not true, if you don't do it, if it doesn't apply, let it fly, Nikki. However, this is very questionable. We have to pay attention to the details. The way she's sniffing gives me Whitney Houston vibes. I'm sorry. So please leave your comment and let me know what you guys think about this situation. And thanks again for watching, guys. Bye. Blowing my nose. Well, if I was cold, this, this, this is me. I'll, this, this is me. All day. Runny, sniffy, sniffly, all the time. So wraps in my, like, I'm, I buy about a bundle. Uh. I'm talking about weight. In fact, I've only ever even seen Coke and bricks. <laughs> Who is Stevie J said? We don't do Coke, we don't drink that. King Tom, you know they just went to say. But, um, but hey Asian. But if you like I said, if you wanna know, since y'all wanna know my drugs and all of that, just listen to my music. <laughs> hi Nivia, hi baby girl, hi beautiful girl. Um <laughs> Nicki Minaj California said woke up the price of coke up. Yeah, I be talking about coke in reference to like weight bricks. But when I talk about what I actually do, and <laughs> I say, I say, popping them things to go up and smoking and smoking Los Angeles bud, I say shit like that, cause that's what the fuck I'm actually doing. <laughs> and if I was to, and by the way, I know a lot of people that, that, what's up TV, what's good? You already know, hi Jack Queens. By the way, I know a lot of, I have a lot of friends or acquaintances, acquaintances in the industry that actually do coke. I don't judge them for it, but I've never tried it, never wanted to, never asked them to. Especially in the fashion world, that's so common and normal. 
Um, but yes, again, let me say it for the ones in the back, my hand to God. And see, that's the thing. When people used to lie about me, I was I never used to clear I never used to clear my name. And there was someone who took a major step and and told that lie to people. Um, and I never addressed it. I never addressed it. Because I thought it was too ridiculous at the time to address. But something just told me I was in a good mood. Hi, Big Sean. I love you so much. Fendi, what's up? Can you, Fendi, can you please let these people know I've always been a, a sniffling ass bitch? I've never in my life, let me say it again, we can do a lie detector test, we can do a hair follicle test, get the hair, my hair is long as fuck, get the hair from my motherfucking scalp all the way down to my pussy, bitch, cause that's where it reached, my pussy, bitch. It reached this good blood clot, wet tight up blood clot thing, you understand? I know all my Jamaican fans be like, bitch, if you don't stop with that fake ass accent, um, all right? Shout out to Southside Jamaica motherfucking Queens. No, I know it's time, I know you saying it's not working, but yes, I would be willing to take, take this motherfucking wig motherfucking off. And get my long ass motherfucking strand of hair and test it to see if I've ever in my life sniffed some fucking coke. Never. So when people, you know, the fact that people, or a person before, Emma, what's good? General DZ, what's good? lied on me and told y'all that lie and I never and I never um corrected it I should have I never used to really correct lies people told on me I did that for years and and to be honest is the one what is one of the things I regret I regret not clearing you know my name with a lot of stuff I got this little pimple but <laughs> Ain't no coke. Ain't no coke, bitch. Mm -mm, no. <laughs> I, I, I'm scared to sniff something. Well, you know what I have. St hey, Rico Dana, what's good? You know what I have started sniffing? I ain't gonna lie. Hi, Riley. Hi, baby. You know what? <laughs> Tay, pass me that right there so, I, so they can see if they really wanted to know what I be sniffing. Sure. No little bottles. No, I have to look. Come on, bro. Yeah. Yo, it's no more in there. Open it. Now, to be honest, if y'all don't pass nothing by my face, because if bitch, if this filter come, come on. on. Man, <laughs> man, man. Shit. You look good without it, but right. it's okay. Hey, how's that? This is what if y'all really wanna know, I be sniffing alcohol, rubbing alcohol. I ain't gonna lie. I love the smell of it. Since I since I was pregnant, uh, I started sniffing bleach a little bit when I was pregnant. Um, um, and and please don't think take, think my cheekbones is this uh, dramatic, y'all. This is a filter on my face for y'all that don't know. And if y'all hear my stomach growling, excuse me, I haven't eaten all day. Next thing you know, they're going to say I'm on a different drug, bitch. They got my stomach growling. Um, but I, I like sniffing rubbing alcohol, and I love sniffing bleach. If y'all must, ew, no. A lot of people be trying to uh, bond with me and say they, they, they sn was sniffing gasoline when they was pregnant. No, ew. Mm -mm. No. Um... But, um, but them, them cravings when you pregnant, oh my Lord, I really had the bottle of cleaning product by my bed so that I could just wake up in the morning and smell the cleaning products <laughs> real quick. Like, it's crazy.
crazy. And now, um, thank you, Prima Donna. And now I'm just, I can't stop eating fucking ice. But this smells so good. This fucking alcohol. I was going to sniff it, but I didn't want to put it by my face to move this, the filter, bitch. So, but now I can't stop eating my ice. It's from my pregnancy, too. Um, I can't stop. So that's why my weight, even we was just talking about it, like my weight fluctuates now from that because it'll be like a lot of um, water weight. I'll have, like, we'll do a photo shoot. Ew, somebody said gasoline smells better than alcohol. Hell no. Hell no. Um, I'll do a photo shoot and I'll, you know, I'll be looking, you know, all, and then by the, uh, by the end of the day, I'll the ice. And then it'd be a different story, child. For how I'll be looking sometimes. So, yeah. But, um. Hi, Santana. All right, y'all. I just wanted to know. I just wanted to make that very clear. That That's just. that I've never even, even tried it. Never will. I've I just never been in, interested in that. But thank you guys for saying another mean thing, as always. <laughs> <laughs> like, um, yeah. But y'all, go and listen to Beam Me Up Scotty. Let me know what your favorite thing is from Beam Me Up Scotty. And I'm going to get off of this and get some work done. And for your information, Mrs. Nikki, you may have some people fooled, but you're not fooling me, sister. Green finds Beam Me Up Scotty as a slang term for cocaine-based drug in 1980s as a way to say, give me some drugs. In the 1990s, with getting high, like to getting beamed up. Okay? So, you guys, let me know what you think. She made an album called Beam Me Up Scotty. Okay? And that's what that means. Cocaine. It's a slang term for cocaine, ba- cocaine-based drug, okay? Good night, y'all.